Here in Madison on a frigid day, 26 degrees. It isn't going to go up much beyond that. Doe, a dangerous return man. Both of these teams, another thing they have in common, they have some outstanding returners. Joel Stabby getting ready to go on offense. Bondi's kick down to Doe just inside the goal line. And he got flattened at the 24-yard line by Jonathan Rose last week against Purdue. He's an adept runner. He hands it off to Kenzel Doe. The ball comes out of the 30-yard line, and the Cornhuskers have it. Greg McMullen knocked it out. Knows he should have had that. 32-yard field goal try now for the true freshman Drew Brown. And his kick is good. He'd been scuffling a bit lately, just one for his previous four yards per carry for the year. That was a 10-yard gain. They bring pressure off the corner. Abdullah ran right where the pressure came from, down to the 24-yard line. Johnson fumbled to score three points. Now trying to take advantage of a short Wisconsin punt. Corner of the end zone, Kenny Bell, touchdown, Nebraska. Surprise to many given the success that they've had with Stavi at the helm. Melvin Gordon gets outside. Delivers a stiff arm to Corey Cooper but couldn't stay in bounds. Got additional yardage after the stiff arm and they'll mark him out at the Nebraska 28. A 42 yard run for Gordon. Run of the year for 40 yards or more. McAvoy. He lost the football, and it looks like Gordon got it back for Wisconsin. He did. Huge break for the Badgers, who's made six in a row. True freshman from Brazil. 26-yard try is good. And Wisconsin is on the board. And one of the best in the country, two very bright young defensive coordinators in this game. Gordon gets dropped for a loss. Corey Cooper up from the safety spot. The ball's out, and Zaire Anderson has it for Nebraska. He wears number 45. Second and goal. Armstrong looked to the sidelines for help, as he'll do regularly. Play clock at two. Wisconsin blitz. Landish didn't get there, and Armstrong walks in for a touchdown. Field and really make you be concerned about him. Here comes a rare Nebraska blitz. Stabby belted by Zaire Anderson, and the catch is made by Jordan Frederick. He apparently all right after he got belted while throwing for a first down. He hands it off to Melvin Gordon, who turns the corner. Second time, he's gotten loose. He went right over Corey Cooper and all the way into the end zone for a touchdown. Gordon finds a crease. And gets yanked down by Daniel Davey. The ball's out again. No indication that he was down by contact. And a battle for the ball. And Nebraska has it. And seven. Nebraska at the Wisconsin 45. Badgers crowd the line of scrimmage. Newby lost the ball. And Wisconsin has it. Two teams did practice outdoors in the cold during the week. Melvin Gordon bounced off the pile. Then went away from Josh Mitchell. And here he goes. Nate Gary. Able to get him down to the open field. At the 17-yard line, 39-yard run. That runs a 42, 62, now 39. Corey Clement, touchdown, Wisconsin! The running back position. We're seeing two pretty good ones here today. Melvin Gordon really helping his Heisman candidacy as he goes off to the races again. You have no chance. If you take a shot, you have a 50% chance of getting them. Joel Stavi again getting most of the snaps at quarterback this week. Nice ball caught inside the 10 by Kenzel Doe. Line. Stavi throws to the goal line. It's caught. Was it a touchdown? Yes! 
Sam Arneson was in. It took the officials a while to throw their hands in the air, but they did. Arneson, the touchdown, and Wisconsin has its first lead. The Big Life game summary of the afternoon from Madison, Wisconsin. 238 yards, not only the career high for the first half, but 21 yards away from the most he's had in any game in his career. It's 126 yards of offense for Nebraska as we approach halftime. On third and three, they bring a blitz right up the middle and Armstrong's thrown down by Marcus Trotter. Armstrong sets up a screen. Good call, well executed. Amir Abdullah, first down and much more. Great call by Tim Beck. Pistol, off in the stretch play out of this formation. Instead, it's a fake to the wrong side. Abdullah was on the other hip. Armstrong, deep ball, it's like a punt and it's picked off by Peniel Jean. Who gets tracked down by DeMornay Pearsonell. Guy had to be the top end speed. Great acceleration, but I don't know how good he is after 40. Stavi surrounded and dumped back at the 15-yard line. Malik Collins. Been a problem all year long for Wisconsin. Abdullah in trouble in the backfield. And the ball is knocked out by Vince Beagle. Wisconsin has it at the 42. I'm wrapped up. And Yale Jean recovered, so he's had an interception and a fumble recovery. Stavi on the move. Into Nebraska territory, a first down to Alex Erickson. He can do that. And that's why they decided to go with it. But in the future, as Gordon gets a jet sweep. And here he comes down the sideline, trying to prove to Chris Spielman he can break away. And he's run down by Nate Gary at the one-yard line. 43-yard run. Will he score the touchdown? You bet he will. Here comes a blitz. Armstrong dropped. Back of the 29-yard line by Joe Schobert. Preseason All-American Frank Kaminsky. Melvin Gordon. Here he goes again. Melvin Gordon. Run down inside the 10-yard line. And that's the single game Wisconsin record. 363 yards rushing for Gordon. And add to it. And add a touchdown. Defense barely getting a hand on Gordon, whether he's running inside or out. Came on the jet sweep motion. They give it to Kenzel Doe going the other way. And they whiff again. Horrible tackling. Here he comes in the jet sweep action. McAvoy keeps it. Touchdown. And even when Gordon doesn't carry the ball, he impacts the play because they paid a lot of attention to him. And McAvoy went in untouched. Come down with a bit more vigor. And the exchange missed between Armstrong and Abdullah. Marcus Trotter recovers for Wisconsin. In this situation, in my opinion, at least it affected me, when you know that a team is going to line up and run the ball, and you know it, and you call defenses, and there's nothing <laughs> that you can do that stops it, there's not a more helpless feeling in the world in that type of situation related to sports, of course. 144 yards in the quarter. We'll see 238 at the half. Guarded again! Inside the five, touchdown! What a performance by Melvin Gordon! Upper gaps, and they're not able to wrap up and make tackles. Yeah, and they're at a complete loss, and it's physical domination, Todd, and as I just mentioned, to me, as a player, when you know a team is pounding the football on you, and no matter what you call or what you do, there's nothing you can do to stop it, that's embarrassing for a football player. That's humiliating, and Melvin Gordon has made the most of his opportunity. His New record, yeah. single game record as they help Randy Gregory up. 
surpasses by two the 406 yards put up against UTEP in 1999 by the great Ladanian Tomlinson went on obviously to star in the NFL as it certainly seems Melvin Gordon will not below 25 there's no way you take a running back below 25 Ogumba Wale got close line and still scored It's a frustration point and until they get consistent play from the quarterback position that trend could continue because you have to be balanced on offense in today's day and age of college football unless you're Wisconsin which only threw for 46 yards a day Melvin Gordon still has enough left in the tank to jog across the field <laughs> played three quarters 408 yards rushing a single game record for FBS football that has a team officially 581 yards rushing for Wisconsin.